I bought 500 turnips for 102 bells per bundle. Or is it 102 bells per turnip? I don't know. Nobody in my Discord is taking this turnip shit seriously. Like three hours ago, I left a message and I was like, how's, uh, how are your turnip prices? Literally nobody got back to me. Luckily, Kate, you know, she turned on her switch. For her, it was 104, so I paid 102. Um, excuse me, where the heck are the rest of my turnips? I bought 500. Oh, these are 100 each. Okay, so let's put this in our storage. So let me, I'll give you a quick tour of uh, Ruka Island here first off. You know I had to do it to them with the item wheel. This is Ruka Island. Um, oh, they can't be stored. Fair enough. Uh, this is this is the beach. We got some coconut trees here. They should not be growing yet. They're, they're getting there. These ones have already been harvested. A couple of seashells over here. Honker, of course. This is uh, Nook's Cranny. Yo, who the heck is this? Mira, Mira, when did you get a house? <laughs> you weren't supposed to have a house. There's the museum, of course. My fruit is uh, apples. Got some flowers growing over here. Got a little DIY table. Got a little outdoor table. Caught a tire, so you know when I got a tire. Turn it into a little tire seat. And then you pull out the old camera. And you take the world's cutest photo if you'll just get on that please thank you look at that he's, he's cute as a button dude he's cute as a button there you go that's the photo right there his eyes were closed in its own way that's more special this is my toilet um and welcome to my humble abode. Still, you know, I just invested heavily in a turnip position. I'm hoping that over the course of the next week, we'll be able to upgrade our home and also perhaps not store everything on top of very cheap cardboard boxes. Um, but, but so far, it's not so bad. We got a cat tower. We did indeed get a cat tower. Um, we got a succulent. We got a little tatami bed. Hello, Kate. And let's, let's go, we got a couple of, the, you can't store turnips, huh? I'm gonna, let's open up this utility sink. I gotta clear out my inventory, let's just be honest. You could store them on the ground. Disrespectful. Yo, message in a bottle. You got some solid luck. I had a moment of clarity during a runner's high. Uh, <laughs> little brother's famine chat. Um... It came up with the absolute coolest DIY idea. I got so excited I couldn't even work out, so I wrote this letter. I really super hope you use it. Jungle wall? Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a jungle wall. Okay, hold on, hold on. I gotta... We gotta put some stuff away here. You're gonna put... Utility sink into storage for when we get a better place. An outdoor bench into storage. Um, honestly, we don't need the fish food. Honestly, we don't need... Oh, you know what? Hang up that... Hang up that gingham... Picnic shirt. We'll just pretend that's like... <laughs> you know how people uh, have like... Uh, they'll hang up a sports jersey or something like that? I'm hanging up my favorite... Anthony Fantano jersey. Um, HHA pennant. I don't even know what that is, but let, let's get this up on the wall. Yo! Now I feel like I'm living in a freaking castle here. All right, store your wood. Store your softwood. Store your hardwood. Might as well store this iron for now. Yo, these, you're right. We're going to have to put these turnips on the ground, dude. We're, this, is, this is a lot of inventory space to take up. Eat 10? That would be, <laughs> that would be tragic. <laughs> Alright, 
just leave those on the ground. Um, okay, so wait, hold on, hold on. Store your branches and then go... Now we're going to the museum, baby. So you're going to grab the... I've been waiting. I saw everybody else... Uh, Piled their shit outside. I didn't pile my shit outside, okay? I saved it. In my house. So that I could give it to the... Museum man. I will say, though, I don't know how many of these he's seen and how many of these he hasn't. He, surely he's seen Common Butterfly by now. Move to pockets. <laughs> Dan thinks this game is Tarkov without shooting. Do you agree? Uh, it's so unbelievably... It's, it's almost the exact opposite of Tarkov. How is it like Tarkov in any way, shape, or form? There's, there are items in the game. Is that it? There's, there's loot. Is that so? Every game is just Tarkov. It's just some kind of variant of Tarkov. Hello, sir. Please wake up. Who? Who? <laughs> Who? I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl, don't you know? Drowsy in the daytime. Ah, but more importantly, who who if it isn't NL? At long last, the Ruka Museum is open. This very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering. Of course, it was your own, very own donations that made it possible. Can't help but notice, I live in a little bit of a... I live in a little shack. And you live in a four-story concrete museum with gold furnishings. Allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to the exhibit rooms, wherein the donations have been collected thus far have been put on display. Ah, that's right, I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we will accept multiple donations all at once. Oh, baby! I will never say, tell me about this. No, I'm, I'm here to donate, brother. Okay, make a donation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woohoo. Several things, I see. Let us take a look. Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Can you assess all of my fossils, please, sir? Oh, baby! Who? More than one, I see. Let us take a closer look, shall we? These are rare fossils, each and every one. I say you have quite the knack for finding valuable fossils. I do hope you will consider donating what you find. The cultural development of Ruka is a worthy endeavor indeed. In the meantime, I shall return these to you. Well, no. In the meantime, I will make a donation of them. Let me just see what we got, though. Right megaloside, archaeopteryx, diplo pelvis. Does diplo know? Plesio tail, diplo tail tip, shark tooth pattern. Woohoo, several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid. We will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them all out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. All right. Let's go see what's going on in the museum here. I don't care about the bugs and stuff. Just show me the, show me the fossils. Let's see what kind of dinosaurs we put together here. Yo! Praise Helix. Shark tooth pattern. A tooth whorl. Oh, there was, a, there was a whole shark in there, too. I'm going to get the miles. Don't sweat it, okay? I'm just... Step one, figuring this part out. Oh, we got a, a little T-Rex. Is not quite done yet, but a little T-Rex. Couple of, couple of legs.
another another posterior. Yo, that's the Archaeopteryx. T-Rex. Yeah, no kidding. No, that's the Dynonychus. No, oh, that's the Archaeopteryx. Okay. Get me out of here. Okay, let's let's redeem some miles. Fossil assessment. Nine of five. There's 300 there. Oh, baby. Host the most. Five people have come to my island. I'm sure you guys want to see my passport. I'm, I'm here to tell you my passport is perfect. First off, greatest photo of all time. Yes, I am holding a fishing rod. Secondly, my title is Trivia Savant. I know everybody wanted... Eggs. Everybody wanted to be egg. Nah, nah, nah. Trivia Savant. It's even more perfect. Send me, please. You and Justin have the same birthday? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Who would have thought? Now, what are we doing? Well, you know, it's all uh, this Animal Crossing, dude. It's all about basic maintenance, right? It's all about just enjoying your island. We got a lot of chores to handle, to be honest. Step one. Oh, excuse me. Step one, you got to equip your uh, watering can and water your garden. I see your stonks. I'm hodling, baby. I bought for 102. I'm looking just even a small profit. I'll divest half of my investment. Take some profit. Then we'll see where things go from there. Okay. Step one. Nice little watering can endeavor here. Get these all, all shiny and stuff. There's probably a better way to do this, but that's okay. This is this is how I live my life for now. Even if we miss a couple, I'm not sweating it. Because you know what? We don't sweat in this game. But, ooh, what the heck is even that, dude? What the heck is a freaking praying mantis, dude? No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. I caught a mantis. Man, tis so cool. I was here. <laughs> I do have the tool ring, but because I have too many axes still, the uh, the watering can is not on my tool ring. Which is honestly okay with me, because I only use it like once a day to do this. I did see someone made uh, NHL jerseys in this. I, I need to get that Canucks jersey. To be honest, though, it's, it's not their fault. But I'm kind of waiting on the skate. I've seen the... They made the blue Orca, which is awesome. But I, I'm kind of holding out for this, this skate a little bit. Someone did make the skate. Oh, baby. Alright, so now that we've done that... Step two, the most important part of, of any day in Animal Crossing. Grab yourself as many... Yo, oh, but what the frick is that, dude? The ladybug? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dude! You never told me that if I got... Uh, if I got... So many flowers, bugs would come here. No, I'm not gonna dig holes before hitting the rock. I understand that you're supposed to, but I, that's not that's not the way I live my life. I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're tapped out on this rock. Okay. Still got 
still did okay. I will say, first off, can we just get an F mouth? Not F like F mouth, but F like F4 mouth. Because, uh, we don't need that. Mouth blew up all of the rocks on his island because he thought they were unsightly. And now he has to rely on Rumble Muffin Resin uh, just to be able to get enough iron to do anything. Look at this beautiful baby right here. I will say I can relate because Kate destroyed some of mine. Isn't that right, Kate? She destroyed one of mine. The sneak cancel. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. You... Whatever, that's how we do it. I caught a tiger? Oh, I thought you were huge, dude. They, they do grow back one per day. But, you know, iron is so precious early on. I will let you invade Rumble, but not until I, I complete my my stream of self-sufficiency here. I'm a self-made man up to this moment, although I am going to abuse the Christ out of the stonk market. I have so much iron, you can just do Nook Miles. Look, of course, but here's the thing with my freaking Nook Miles right now, dude. Shit's busted, because look at this. Okay, sell 5,000 bells worth of items, no problem. Oh, dude, they all refreshed. Never mind, we're set. Yesterday, some of my, uh, some of my grindy ones were like, uh, catch a goldfish. It's like one of the rarest fish in the game. I've only caught one. I've been fishing for hours. And then another one was like, catch a paper kite butterfly. I only caught one paper kite butterfly. I've been catching for hours. Stonk. How is how are the museum and store built? Did he time travel? I did not time travel. It's just one of the rare benefits of living in the Pacific time zone. Essentially, because it came out at 9 p.m., I was able to play a few hours the night it came out and kind of be like one... I don't want to say a day ahead, but you know what I mean. If you live on like the east coast of the of North America, you were definitely pinched for time. But you also got, you know, well, I don't know. I was gonna say you got the game early, but I guess you literally didn't. Stonks. Okay, now the real party begins. I still have not caught an ore fish. I still have not caught a squid. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I got greedy. I got so... I. It's so rare to have a five biter. Oh, let's go. It's a can. That's all right. I'm not... I don't mind a can. We can turn a can into succulents, and then we could sell the succulents for... Ooh, baby! For increased stonk meta. Not even close. Chat, why is Dan being so secretive about his island, by the way? Like, everybody else in our Discord that plays Animal Crossing... Cone? Amazing. Uh, has uh, shared their friend code. The only person who has not shared their friend code is Dan. Honestly, the only thing I could assume is that he thinks people are gonna like take his stuff. Because he's the most capitalist amongst us all and doesn't realize uh, that we're all in this together. Wouldn't you though? Absolutely not. First off, you got to be big friend or best friends to take any of their stuff anyway. I would just go there. I would drop off some of my fruit. 
take a little bit of his fruit and then uh, and then leave. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he smells it. Oh, one biter. Dude, I am done with loaches. No more loaches, please. I have a villager named Boomer. How much did Nintendo did Nintendo? How much did Nintendo pay you for your likeness? I don't respond to those those messages of chat terrorism. No. Five bites? Oh, baby. That's a really nice garden. Thank you know what? That was it's a very nice compliment. Thank you. Appreciate it. I set that garden up uh, day one. Psych. <laughs> Lamal. Okay. Now, let's do a little ocean fishing, of course. That's a really nice shirt. Dude, it's it's very simple. When you're me, and you see a shirt called the One Ball shirt, you buy it. If you don't know, now you know. Oh, the classic three biter. It's a big honker, a sea bass, at least a C plus. We're looking for an ore fish or like something, something majestic though. Something majestic. Hold on. We will do some exploration here too. I, I can definitely go to a, I can go to a nook island. I have enough nook miles. But I got other stuff to do today. We got to break all our rocks first. Oh, baby! It's a squid! I've never seen one before. I caught a squid. I had an inkling I might. Speaking of inkling. You guys ready for Northern Lion creates a tier list of every Super Smash Brothers. Ultimate character coming out probably tomorrow. Yo, it's a money rock. Yo, 4,000 bells, 1,000 bells. I didn't even see what that one was. It might have just been 100 there. He's pogging up. What is that? That guy, he's squirrely. Something's not right with this guy. Is this game worth getting even if you don't have friends? I will say, I have not visited any friends island so far. Well, that's not true. I went to I went to Kate's island to give her some stuff, but I didn't explore too much. Um, but I am having a good time with it. Just like that. But I'm sure over time I will I will feel the need for social consumption. And etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That's true. I did join Malf's Island temporarily and said need nugs. That's when I found out because I needed some iron. And I went to Malf's Island to try to get some iron. I walked across the whole island and there was no rocks. And then I went, Malf, I wanted iron, but there were no rocks. And he said, hell yeah, brother. I, uh, I broke them all because I didn't like the way they looked. <laughs> the man doesn't even know. It. He's, he's put himself, he's ruined his own economy on day one. Well, it'll grow back, but, you know. All right. Hello, sir. No, it won't take him that long to get a shop, because I think either he'll travel or he'll just have somebody go to his island to give him the iron, which is, like, totally fine, because it's, it's that kind of game, you know? It's just that kind of game. Okay. You just have fun, however you want to have fun. No such thing as resin in Animal Crossing. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you. I spent five hours getting iron because my sister broke the rocks. I had to get an iron loan from Kate so that I could make enough DIY projects to get Nook Miles to then travel to another island to get the iron to build the the store. I paid her back. I gave her like 20 clay. I got a loan from from the Iron Bank. <laughs> Iguanodon Skull. Yo. Jay Smith is online in Animal Crossing. You missed the squid? My mistake. My mistake. There it is. I don't know if I want to visit Josh's island. Doesn't he have the casting couch there? You saw his tweet. <laughs> oh, everybody's signing in now. These... Josh has probably been up since 6 a.m. I hope, I hope Apollo woke up hours ago and was able to purchase some turnips. Otherwise, he's going to be very upset. He's If he just woke up, Apollo, you missed your turnip sale. You fool. Over the course of the next uh, five or six days, the world economy is going to pass you by. Oh, I don't sell the U anymore. That's right, I go to the store. No, I do not wish to have a rusted part. I don't want anyone to go to my island right now because I'm worried they're going to pick up my turnips off the ground. <laughs> That's true, he did have an inventory full of tarantulas. My man's got like 40 tarantulas. He doesn't need, uh, he doesn't need turnips. Hello. What do I need today? I want to sell. I would like to sell you a tiger butterfly, a common butterfly, a bitterling, a sea bass, two loaches, um, two sand dollars, and a sea snail. Twenty nine twenty. I can live with that. So you guys want to see some art of the deal stuff? I don't know if this will work. Hello, Crandor. I watched you play. Literally, here's how uh, my Saturday went as far as like Animal Crossing streams. Malf was live. He went offline, hosted Dan, who was playing Animal Crossing. Dan. Went offline, hosted Wolves of My Door, who was playing Animal Crossing. Somehow, down the uh, chain, it then went to Crendor. Who was playing Animal Crossing. When he went offline... Oh, I screwed it up, dude. Oh, he ho Dan hosted you? Okay, so that's how it went then. And then, like, another person went... Uh, well, that person went offline, and Paws got hosted. It was just, like, non-stop Animal Crossing... All day. It was beautiful. I'm looking for some weeds. I don't have a ladder yet. It's coming soon. Coming soon. It has been nice. It has been a nice... Uh, it's nice to watch people just having a good time in Animal Crossing, dude. been a very pleasant time. A boing. Um, so I want to go to my DIY table. He can get you, Tom Nook can get you a ladder today. Oh, baby. And maybe even build a... Oh my god. We can do that later. Um, maybe even build a bridge today. You need 10 clumps of weeds. What the heck? Just to make one succulent, one succulent Chinese meal. 
What do you like collecting more, fish or bugs? I'm definitely, a, I'm a fish kind of guy for sure. I, I'm a fish man. I love when you play Switch games so I can see the side of your face. <laughs> it's true, I could look at the center, but... It's not the same. It's not the same. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Okay, give me six. Six, baby. Seven. Seven, baby. Eight. Not possible. That's, that's just stone. Oh, wait, is that... that's clay. I'm not worried about the pill bug. We, we got enough pill bugs in my world. There's one more rock somewhere over here. Oh, baby. Got one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Give me seven. Give me eight. Not gonna happen. Hey! I'm just gonna tell you. I'm not gonna do the whole meta. The reason I'm not gonna do the whole meta is because, like Animal Crossing, I feel like the whole game is designed to be... Play to your own pace as casually as possible. Like, as soon as you start absolutely 100% min-maxing your basic chores, that's where, for me, I feel like some of my, um... Some of my desire would actually fall a little bit, believe it or not. Oh, look at that. Mouth's online now, too. There's a stink bug on my flowers? Thank you. That was an incredible call out. How do I not accidentally destroy rocks? Don't eat fruit. I caught a stink bug. Don't eat fruit before you interact with rocks. Yo, it's a freaking honeybee, dude. It's a freaking bee. No, no, where are you going? No, 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 no! That's all right, he'll be back. If you have a toilet, you can poop on it to get rid of the the fruit. I did not know that. I did not know that, but that is hilarious. So I'm going to get here's my little uh here's my preview of how I think today is going to go. We're going to complete our basic island maintenance. Following this, we will travel using some Nook Miles, see what we can get. And uh, and then we'll just see where the mood strikes us. You know how it goes, fishing, catching bugs, crafting, maybe upgrading our place a little bit. I need three real wood. I do want to visit Malf's Island if Malf is... Uh, is around because I need, if possible, some of his cherries. I would be happy to to provide him um, with whatever he may need. I'm sure he's already gotten all the fruits, but I, whatever whatever I could do to be useful there, I would be happy to. I'd be happy to do so. How'd you get so knowledgeable about the game? I feel so behind. Don't, it's, it's Animal Crossing. You got no need to feel behind. Um, it's just, uh, you just play at your own pace. I'm very lucky I have someone in my home who has played, I think, at least hundreds of hours of every single Animal Crossing game. So when I, uh, when I have a question, I just ask her and she tells me, like, the optimum way to do things. So it makes my life a lot easier. 
Kate Resin. <laughs> yeah, if you eat fruit before you hit rocks, your rocks will get yeeted, and you don't want your rocks to get yeeted. Oh, I don't. I thought I had weeds here, but I guess not. Okay, I gotta be honest, I'm not that interested in making one more succulent just to sell it, so like, I think I'm just gonna dump a lot of my inventory here. We could probably, uh, we could donate the bug real quick, and then go on a, a mission. Go on a mission. You can indeed control where the building gets built. Like, I cleared up a bunch of stuff, uh, just to have a, a good place for the museum to be. I do have coconuts. I have coconuts, apples, and oranges. I need peaches, cherries. Actually, I don't need pears, because Kate gave me a bunch of pears. I need peaches, cherries. Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not going to be visiting random islands, because I consider it resinous. But... Close personal friends and confidants, perhaps. Perhaps. You need to? I mean, you don't need to visit... Look, here's the thing, okay? Don't take this the wrong way, chat. Not resin. Asking six people you work with on a regular basis who's got the best turnip price. Resin. Being in a 10,000 person discord and then seeing who has the absolute lowest price on turnips. People mass visiting their island buying up at uh, the lowest possible price. And then six days later being like, who has the most? <laughs> who has the highest stonk price? Let's just put this bad boy down here. No, no, sorry, I didn't mean random NPC islands. Now it's officially a university dorm room. Okay, I'm just thinking about what, because we want to, we want to put some stuff away here. We want to put... Ten of these. We can keep ten on us. Let's keep some iron on us. Is there a way to just throw stuff in the trash? <laughs> like, I don't think I'm ever going to want that can. Okay. And then I'm a little... Oh, you need a trash can. Dude, I do have a rattan waste basket, as you can see, so... Let's get out of here. Let's go to a random nook island. What's up with your bed? My what? Oh, you mean my tatami. Yes, it is a, uh, it is a hard bamboo bed-like structure that I sleep on. It's actually, most people don't know this, but sleeping on a rolled up piece of hard bamboo is actually better for your spine than uh, a bed in North America that was designed by, you know, spinal experts. It's really weird like that. I read it online, it must be true. Yo, look at that. Two days in a row. Bonus miles, baby! Uh, I will redeem some Nook Miles to go to a new island. Thank you. My Nook shop is selling documents. Who wants that in their home? It's true. I would not like to... Uh, I would not like to display documents in my home. Ah, NL. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I would like to talk to you about... You giving me a ladder. Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare? Here's what I'm thinking. 
We really should start by building a bridge across a river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry we'll run out of space on land that's easily accessible. A bridge will open things up a bit and make it easier to get to housing plots during construction. So that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge. Then you'll want to decide on a prime location for the bridge, too. I thought he pulled out a gun! And done. I've just sent you the recipe for a bridge construction kit. Once you've assembled your bridge, find a good spot for a bridge, then check in with me. Alright, that's that's fine. That's, I'm not sweating it. Yeah, I see the gun every time. <laughs> Should I craft something? Well, we can at least look. Okay, okay, okay. Bridge. Logs, stakes, clay, and stone. Log stakes are made of wood. I mean, we probably have enough clay and stone, so let's just get that going, dude. I got no problem there. Let's get a let's get the bridge quest done before we travel. But yeah, it's just been I've been trying to explain to people like why I uh, have actually liked Animal Crossing after saying that it wasn't really something I saw as being a thing that I was interested in. I've realized and embraced how much I love digital chores. It's, it's, you're absolutely right. I love digital chores. Like the tweet I made yesterday, it didn't pop off, which is because most people don't appreciate genius until after it's gone. But, um, I said like, just let me pull another 50 weeds and then I'll take the garbage down. That's basically like what it's like. Like, I'm doing digital chores and kind of, like, putting off real chores. But at the same time, it's, like, the perfect time for it. Because there's only so many chores and errands you can run from inside of your own home in our current state of affairs. So, it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of, like, the perfect time. It's the perfect time for a game like this. Plus, I also respect that, like... It's like, people are like, why don't you like Stardew as much then? Well, I like Stardew fine, but like, uh... Oh, the thing with Stardew is like... Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. Send it, send it, send it! Oh, <laughs> he's done it. Um, The thing with Stardew is like... When you finish your chores in Stardew, you go to sleep. And then you start another day, and also time travels, or time goes by, you know what I mean? In Animal Crossing, when you finish your day, you know, you, you just decide when it's over. You're like, I got nothing else to freaking do. That's the game's way of being like, you know what? Why don't you just go do something else for a bit? I love that. I, like, last night I was like... You know, oh, I'm a little bit bored. I've already done everything there is to do on my island. And then I was like, okay, dummy, just fucking log off. Go do something else and come back tomorrow. Yeah, or you move the, move the switch ahead a day and start over. It's just, yeah, it's just chilled out, dude. It's just... Oh, frag, dude. Send it, send it, send it again! Send it! Whoa! I got bit, brother. That's alright, I can always craft some medicine. That's okay. No big deal. Stung, whatever. <laughs> And I know, I, I did see a comment, someone was like, doesn't it, like, run the antithesis to, like, your always be productive lifestyle? And the uh, ignorant statements I've made in the past? Kind of, I suppose. But, like, I actually, like, weirdly enough, I respect the fact that Animal Crossing has, like, a relatively limited amount of stuff to do every day. Instead of, like, you know, you could easily sink, like, 16 hours into it. 
Yo, it's a it's a freaking honeybee, baby. Don't get behind the tree, dude. I can't see. Got him. Yes, I caught a honeybee. Ah, sweet success. All right, give me a moment here. Who are your neighbors? I forgot to mention. I've got Flip, who is a monkey who likes to work out. And I have Mira, who is a bunny who calls me Cottontail. Oh, hello, Bear Taffy. Let's go. And let's go. I think Sky should move in tomorrow, but we'll see. Medicine, please. How much did you buy your turnips for? I bought in at a slightly above average price, 102. But here's the thing. This is the IPO for turnips. So if there's ever going to be peak enthusiasm around turnips, it's going to be this week. So I don't mind uh, paying slightly above average for turnips week one. Because I really think like consumer confidence is going to drive... You know, some serious upward movement for turnips this week. If you got them cheaper, I think that's fine. If you got them a little, if you got them a little bit more expensive, I think that's fine as well. Okay, let's go get some clay and make this bridge. Turnips are going to 120 by Friday. <laughs> I'm waiting for 300. I'm holding till Elon gives me the tendies. Play. No regular wood? I got a bunch of regular wood in my inventory. Okay. You know turnips expire? Yeah. But not till Saturday, right? Not, or not till next Sunday. You can't sell on Sunday, so Saturday is your last day. Um, bridge. Need to, need to make log stakes. That's right. Need to make log stakes. I'm buying puts on egg. This is a bad time to buy puts for me. You should buy calls on me. Better yet, I mean, you could buy calls if you want, but I think you should just invest. Um, I think it's going to be a good month. Exit the Gungeon starts tomorrow. Channel update went out today. I got a meme tier list that could go to the moon coming out tomorrow. I, th I think I'm a good investment right now. You, you can go with a call if you want. But uh, I, I would recommend just, just buying just, just buy and hodl, dude. I want to be like Berkshire Hathaway. I want to be a good long-term investment. Okay, we just need stone. Yo, Miles? For what? Building garbage. Let's go. All your value is tied up in Isaac DLC futures? Yeah, but it, the DLC's coming. If you wait to buy until you see the meteoric rise that's gonna happen when Repentance comes out, you're gonna be too late already. Yeah, plus Spelunky 2 stocks. <laughs> Time to skyrocket. Alright, the bridge has been constructed. Mathis, welcome to Animal Crossing. Nice to see you. Malf, Apollo, Crandor. 
Now Mathis. The gang's all here. Bear Taffy. <laughs> all right, I'm thinking... If I look at my island map... I don't think I've got too many coconuts over here. I think I want them... Uh, let's make some beachfront property over here. A boing. We got a lot of trees, but we can always move those. And now, can you at my work on Twitter and tell them to close the store? Um... What's... Wh where do you work? Is, is it GameStop? <laughs> PetSmart? Ah, uh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one, because you still need to be able to get pet food. I don't I I would almost, I hate to say this. First off, if you're working at a quote-unquote essential service this week, I tweeted it yesterday, you were basically a god. Um, I think you deserve all the respect. The fact that companies are giving you a $2 raise. It's easy for me to say because I'm not writing the checks, but that's not enough. S Secondly, though, I do feel like PetSmart is... is almost an essential service. It's close, at least. I work at FedEx. No rays and extra hours. Hate that. Ah, NL. Hello, hello. Did you find a good place to deploy your bridge construction kit? I set it up. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge. It'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want. No, no, no. What should I do? I got a pen and a pad here in case you need me to write down a bunch of stuff to build these houses. Yeah, yeah, okay. Please take these three housing kits. With the housing kits I just gave you, pick out plots for three homes. Each housing kit comes with a list of the furniture required, so be sure to read those lists. You can build everything DIY style. Okay, I got enough fruit because I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up some trees to make this happen too. Put them all on the isolated part. I would never. I would never. First off, look, this is a great place for another home. We got like a nice neighborhood here. It's right next to a fruit tree. This is a beautiful spot. I'm gonna walk it back like two steps. I'm gonna cast for no reason. That seems pretty good to me. This is the spot. Give the animal some room. Don't you wanna be like a, this is close enough to your neighbors to feel like you're part of a community? Um, but not so close as to be violating the principles of social distancing. Hello, that UNL? This is Tom Nook. How it goes your search for housing land? Is going great. Stupendous, I'm relieved to hear. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot so it'll show the items required. Interior items should be placed in the box, while exterior items should be placed around the plot. We want to make it look nice and decorative now, hmm? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. What do you need? Apple chair, juicy apple TV, and a pot. Apple chair. You get Apple TV, I'm still sleeping on a bamboo mat. Juicy apple TV and a pot. Okay. And then exterior. Oh, what the hell, dude? 
<laughs> this is this is crazy. Stone stool stone table clothesline. I don't know if we're gonna get that done in two and a bit hours we have left, dude. Next step, plot two. Oh, that's perfect. Looks good to me. I like a neighborhood. What do you mean it's like a beehive? <laughs> I like a neighborhood style, dude. You'll need to get a wreath made from flowers. There are plenty of pretty flowers growing on the cliffs, so toodle up there if you need to. I've already sent you a recipe for a ladder. It's an ideal tool. Okay, fair enough. What do you need? Wooden block stereo? Wooden block stereo. Wooden block table. Wooden block table. Pansy wreath. <laughs> Got him. It's going to make it so easy for me to visit my neighbors. You guys are going to be running around the whole freaking island. I'm going to be like a Christmas caroler at an apartment building. Iron. Garden. Chair. Iron garden table. Birdhouse. I am making a birdhouse. Okay. Done. Stop reading. Third house. Congratulations. I'm succumbing to social pressure. Pop that one over here on the beach. Too close to the edge. Why is my man keeping wasps in his backpack? I don't mind losing these trees. I'm not sweating these trees. Trees are easy, dude. This looks good to me. He's stoked. Look at that. What do you need? Get away three. Wooden simple bed. Man of Spartan taste. Wooden chair. Classic pitcher, Nolan Ryan. You really need a pitcher to move in? Like... The, the bed and the chair, I kind of understand. Something to hold, multiple servings of liquid, that seems a little bit unnecessary. Log, garden, lounge. Log stool, should be able to get that from Melf's bathroom. And water pump. Okay. There we go, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna build a ladder. And then we'll use our nook miles. Then we'll use our nook miles. Go get some iron. We're gonna need it for house two, guaranteed. What the heck? 
are you, dude? What the hell is even that? Yoink. I caught a tiger beetle. I pounced first. What's the best bug? Stag beetle? Hercules beetle? Ladybug? One that can be fixed easily. <laughs> um, what should I do? Please don't forget, I'm waiting on you to find... I did it! I did it, dude! How do I make the ladder? You're supposed to give me ladder access now. The one that Cory had where his stream went for 15 hours after he stopped streaming. <laughs> what a guy. I will say when I uh, when I signed on yesterday morning and I saw that Cory was live at like 9:30 a.m. I was like, something about this story is is very cursed. <laughs> That's that's not a that's not a good story. Dude, honestly, I'm looking at this and I'm like, hold on. Ladder's great, don't get me wrong, but look at this. Log stool. Sorted. Okay, so we'll put a little check mark there. Log garden chair, please. Just, just freaking relax. Yo. That is incredible. Craft that shit. Beautiful. Keep crafting. We can at least get one of these houses done. We need... Water pump. We need wooden, ch wooden chair, wooden simple bed. Okay. Ah, hold on. Anybody else walk to the right side of their house to get storage, even though it doesn't make any sense why you would ever do that? You just need to press right on the D-pad? Just me? Just me. Alright. Just checking. I see, I see a couple yeses there. I can live with that. D-A-E? Yes, I would. Uh, we need a wooden simple bed, please. Thank you. Keep crafting. We need a wooden chair. Sorted. Classic pitcher and water pump, and Malf's place is good to go. Classic pitcher. Water pump requires five more clay. I don't think we have it, so we'll go on a mission to get that. Classic pitcher requires... Okay, all right, let's go on a mission. First, I gotta drop this shit off, though. <laughs> it never ends, dude. It never ends. You're right, we should get the ladder before we go on a mission. You are the only content creator for whom I have clicked the bell. Thank you. Um, Dan and I, on, I'll, I'll spoil a little bit of the next Check the Wire episode. We compared our analytics for like, you know, age and gender, location and stuff like that. Um, the average, apparently the average number of percentage of uh, subscribers who click the bell on YouTube is around 10 to 30 percent. 
I was at six. Dan was at like four. So I'm, I'm encouraging people to click the bell. <laughs> All right. So wooden bed and chair go into the box. Help. How does how does one drop it? I know there's drop, but I don't think that's gonna go into the box. It's just gonna fall on the ground. You have to go to interior items on the box first. Okay, okay. All right, I will submit items then. Okay, so Malv's house is almost done. What do we have to do now? We gotta, I hate to do is we gotta drop off the honeybee and the tiger beetle. Actually, I don't think we need to drop off the tiger beetle. I think we can just sell it. I will not release the wasp. I also will not eat the wasp. Yeah, there you go. Just just turn off the hello babs. Turn off the bell. Wait, turn on the bell and then mute all notifications from YouTube. There you go. That's that's your your to-do list for today if you want to help me out. Why would you want to sell Evangeline Lily? Um I mean, did you see what Evangeline Lily said? What what did she say? Something like, uh, you know, the virus is bad, but I'm not going to let it control my whole life. Something like that. I know you're like, that's Vanessa Hudgens. No, 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 no. It's both. You know what? Take my tire, too. That attitude's not so bad. Is it, though? I, th I think it is. Even, like, I saw some... Because Vancouver went, like, mini-viral. It went, like, Canadian-viral. Um, because a bunch of people went to the beach yesterday because they're idiots. And, uh... I did see somebody in the comments of those tweets, those photos, was like... But times are really tough right now. People just need to go out and, and get some sunshine and splash a little bit and stay stay happy. I was like, there is something. You, you know why there's stress right now is because of the freaking disease. <laughs> ah, just uh, uh, my mental health so is so compromised because of the disease. I just have to go outside and get the disease. Anyway. All right, hold on. I gotta, I gotta s deposit one thing here. I have not. I mean, I did. I saw the headline of the people that went to the grocery store and bought literally everything in the meat section. There's been a lot of. I was talking privately to a a, a friend of mine who also used to live in Vancouver, and I was like, the culture of this city is not built to survive an apocalypse. Everybody's looking out for number one. Even, like, yesterday, I had to go to the grocery store, and there's, like, forced social distancing. Um, so only one person can be in, like, each section at any given time. And there was a couple in front of me who took literally, like, six to eight minutes to pick out what cut of steak they wanted. And I was just like, you fucking idiots. We're in, like, it's a serious emergency situation. And they're like, would skirt steak work for this, or can we just go with the eye of round? And I'm like... Please. Just like other people are also trying to get through the store and only one, you're occupying the whole section. They did not get more than three types of meats. I'm fine, thank you and you. Just like grab, grab a couple steaks or you, like you don't have to decide at the store. 
You can just go to the... <laughs> you can, At home, you could look up. What kind of steak do I need for this? Go to the store. Pick up the steak. You know, you gotta, we gotta work together here. Gotta make things as, as easy as possible for everybody. Maybe that steak was sold out. Maybe you get over it. Because it's a freaking pandemic. You can, you can make it with the... With whatever kind of beef you want. Hold on. Like this. What day are you on? I think this is day three. Played Friday night, played Saturday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Day three. Keep some iron. Probably could keep some wood, but we can always just use miles to buy more. All right, so let's use our noggin. What are we looking for here? When we go on this mission, we are on the hunt for clay. Clay, iron, and stone. I hate to say it, but you're right. We should do a we should build the ladder first. <laughs> I, I, I keep stalling, but the ladder will help us get more out of the island when we go there, so it is the right call. Uh, it's just four of each wood. We can do that. That's that's worth it. But I will. It was nice. Like two weeks ago, when I went to the grocery store. Um, oh, you're right. This is day four because I played on Thursday night. Then I played a little on Friday as well. That's right. Um, day four. Um, I will. Like when we went to the grocery store a couple of weeks ago. It was the apocalypse. I also need some more basic wood, unfortunately. Um, the grocery store yesterday was super well stocked. Most people were well behaved. Everybody was staying like far away from other people. Um, so it's much more, as much more optimistic this time, for sure. Yeah, the supply chain still going strong, apparently. How are you doing on the home loan? Um, I have paid off zero, but I went heavy into uh, turnips. So I'm hoping my turnip position can be leveraged. In order to, to pay off my mortgage this week. Yo, more miles too. It's like, oh, you're in Washington? So, I mean, if you basically, if you live in the Pacific Northwest right now, it's very frustrating, in my opinion. Like, I see so many people outside. Um, like, out of my window. And I get it, because the weather is beautiful. And the winter here was, like, pretty... Atypically cold and and snowy, but I'm like, dude, you can't just fucking wait like a bit. I don't mind like if one person goes out, and or if two people go out and they're like together, like they live together. Like Kate and I don't maintain social distance when we're out. We walk side by side, right? And we live in the same home, but we stay as a unit. We stay away from like other people. But, like, when I see 20 people hanging out on the beach, or, like, photos of people playing beer pong on their roof, I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you are an idiot. I'm, I'm not sorry. Normally, I would say I'm sorry, but I'm, like, 0% sorry, because you're just, you're just acting so dumb. Why are you being so dumb? Bro, there's never going to be another summer of 2020. There might not be any summer for you if you keep living like... This might be your last summer. Just slow your roll. Do you want to see 2021 to 2030? And perhaps even beyond? I would... 
Just relax. I did see that, uh, you know, there was the spring break, the, the viral idiots who were like, if I get corona, I get corona. It's not going to stop me from partying. And then like three days ago, the, well, not three days ago, sorry, like th this morning, the news was like, spring breakers diagnosed positively with the corona. And I was like, yeah, all right. I mean, it's not even like, it's not even worth dunking on. It's like, wow, imagine that. Bunch of hungover people from all across the country wading in lukewarm water with one another six inches away. Very surprised that there was a little spread of disease. Anyway, so that's my daily topic on uh, on COVID-19. We're still doing great. Lots of supplies. No complaints. Except for people outside, but you know. <laughs> I want to fly. Ruka and Tomo. So like a month ago, I complained about the fact that we got sent like 90 free samples of wet food because they were going to go bad too fast for us to eat them. Turns out me a month ago was really dumb. This is a great time to have 90 single serving free samples of cat food. They've been mowing those down like crazy. No, it, for the cats. We have spam. I want to use a Nook Miles ticket. Same difference. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's check. You all packed? Yes. Send me, dude. Formulated specifically for streamers. Dow Dodo Airlines. Yo, apples, dude. Every freaking island I go to is exclusively apples. Okay, so remember, we're looking for rocks. Rocks are of the utmost importance. Donkey, 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 donkey. All right, send it. One. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We hit pay dirt, boys. Okay. Do you get more if you smash rocks? Like, can I get everything out of this rock, then eat and smash it and get more? Because, like, this person doesn't really exist. You know, this is just the ones and zeros. So I got no problem with this. One stone. Uh, thank you, by the way. Someone just told me... You need 10 apples for each kind of apple furniture. I am apple rich in my own home, but we might as well take advantage of the fact that there's apples around here as well. Oh, I know not to uh, break apples at my own home. If you wanna, if you wanna bring that information to someone's attention, you bring it up to Malf, who is lurking right now. He broke all the rocks because he didn't like the way that they looked. Yo. Crushing it. Clay to clay, baby! Ho oh, ho El Dorado, dude.
leave nothing. I'm just gonna glass the whole fucking island, dude. I'm gonna salt the earth. It's gonna look like Carthage after the Punic Wars when I'm done with it. You know what? I heard you got miles for it. I will use the rock technique one time. Can I even do it here? No, I gotta do it on the other side, I think. Miles are super important. Miles are fuel in this game. Miles per hour? Please don't talk about Sonic to me, with me. I'll tell you right now, Sonic, if you're a, if you main Sonic in um, Smash Bros, prepare to be a little bit upset with me. Wrong spot? Like why why couldn't we just swing here? There isn't space enough for the rocks to fall. Like this? Perfect. Okay, okay. And then I'm just mashing. Oh, baby. Oh, but the shovel goes faster? What have I done? All right, we'll get we'll get the shovel going on the next one. I, was, I mean, we still got good loot there. Don't get me wrong. Hey, I'm not a monster. I'll cover the holes at least. Send them. You need this for the money rock. It makes perfect sense. Look, I'm not. It's a. It's a very advisable position. I can't deny that. My own laziness sometimes gets the better of me. No, no humans or no no villagers live on this island. What a ripoff, dude. because you've already invited three people. Yo, dude, that is so helpful. I had no idea. Learn, you, we're learning so much together here. What's the best weaker than song? Now that's a good question. What's that with, you know? Oh, Antarctica, that's a good one. Get yourself positioned, and then go to town. Four, five, seven, eight, eight, baby! What it do, baby? Yeah! <laughs> Stonks. 500 miles? Muscle egg incoming? It was a little resinous. I don't want to do it all the time. I guess you have to do it all the time to know which one is the money rock, but... Thank you. Um, so we're kind of like, we're kind of tapped out on rocks here. I hate to say it, but we'll, we'll probably go get some stone. 
Oh, and catch the honker. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Legendary performance. Honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna be too anal about the flowers. I kinda like the idea of just sticking with the base flowers I was given and letting um uh letting them cross pollinate naturally. How did you get a ladder? So it's it's part of Tom Nook's quest line. When, when Tom Nook gets some calls about moving to the island, he will tell you to build a bridge. After you build the bridge, he will give you two... He'll give you three housing plots to put down. After you put the second one down, he asks you to get a wreath, which requires a ladder. So he gives you the DIY recipe for the ladder. Five tree branches. A yunk. Those are some first grade instructions. I try, I try. Yo, I, dude, there's been so much going on, I forgot to mention... We got a new Unity game coming uh, on Tuesday. And I think we might have... At least Daniel and myself... I think are gonna have some hype videos coming up. Yo, the, a piece of furniture came out of it. Revolving spice rack! 10 out of 10! It's not Animal Crossing, but that's all I'm gonna say. It's not Animal Crossing. It is also not Assassin's Creed. <laughs> although, no, not although. Please tell me how you're using that bench. Uh, so there's a, on every Nook Miles Island you go to, there is a DIY bench. You just have to make sure you approach it from the blueprint schematic side. If you try to approach it from the side, it will not work. And the back to the melody of roll, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. I got all sorts of... If you think you have a dumb thing holding you hostage in uh, Animal Crossing, let me tell you. I spent like half an hour Googling how to plant trees. And was like, I can't plant... I've got a tree in my inventory. I dig a hole. It won't let me plant it. It says there's no place to plant it. Then I realized it's because... It's oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get the honker. Then I realized it's because I was trying to plant a coconut on grass. Coconuts don't grow in the soil, they grow in the sand. So in case that's been bugging you, there you go. There's, there's, there's no such thing as stupid questions. Let's give it a sec. See where, see where they move on this one. How do you chop trees? Um, if you have flimsy tools, eat one fruit, then use your axe to hit the tree until it falls down. Or shovel, and you can shovel the tree out. If you have real tools... Yo, that's new. I got a pop-eyed goldfish. It looks so surprised. Otherwise, build a real axe and chop a tree, I think three times. I caught a tadpole. That's a that's a rare fish. I had no idea. I did not mean to be so rude. It was not me, it was my food. It just popped up to say hello and now it's gone back down below. It's a rock? Joke's on you, I need that. There are, there are some serious 
honkers out here. Oh. Oh, just give it a sec. Just give it a sec. Oh, he's flipping. He sees it. He's hungry. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. We lost the middle one, though. I caught a carp. Legendary carp. Does it, someone said watch out for your shadow, it can spook them? Is that actually true? This game's got more mechanics than I than I ever knew. Not true. Okay, fair enough. That's probably like a real fishing thing then that I just don't understand. You're a real piece of shit, you know that? You spinning? What are you doing? Are you just... Now he spins. Now as soon as I... As soon as I... Start to move, he spins. Oh my freaking god, dude. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Whatever, dude. Yo, oh, here we go. Finally. We're gonna spook the other one, that's okay. I, I, I can get off this island. Caught another tadpole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the big one. I feel like I'm the only person who doesn't have a freaking ore fish yet, dude. Are you an ore fish? Come on, come on. Come on, just swim. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna get his sights locked on. Oh, it was a perfect cast. No, I don't want the little baby. It's gonna scare the big daddy. It's all that for a rock, dude. I'm out of here. Crank that car. Crank that car, girl. I ain't taking that stinky dog home. What are you? Are you a paper kite butterfly? You are a paper kite butterfly. Alright, I'll fish once on the coast. I got one inventory space left. We're looking for a big one. Looking for a big one. Oh, big daddy. He's locked in. He's not locked in. Oh my god. He's got it. No. Oh, plunk. It's a sea bass. Alright. Yo, and some nook miles. 100 fish caught. Competent fishing fan. If you didn't know, there are some fish only found in the mouths of rivers. That, I did not know. Sincerely did not know. And some fish are only found on the pier. Yo, dude, this is very useful information. That's good data. That's good data. I am ready. Take me home. Alright, so what's what's our next game plan? Finish. As much of the furniture as possible. We could probably make all the Apple stuff. Age zero, baby. I want my data. Age 25, millennial. I want my data. Do you see how fucked this is? That's a top three drill, tw uh, drill tweet for sure. The candle one is also up there, of course. And uh, the enlightened man. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever from the from good and evil, you fucking idiot. 
You imbecile. That's true, the, the Isis one is really good, too. On second thought, I redact my earlier statement. Isis, you do not, end, under any circumstances, have to hand it to them. <laughs> uh, that's, that's good stuff. We got carps. We got tadpoles. We've already had a paper kite butterfly. We've already had a sea bass. Not selling that spice rack, I'll tell you that much. Forty-seven hundred bells. It's not too bad. I got a story from my mom working phones at the health clinic yesterday. She called about her son, who my mom assumed was 10, but actually he's 39. Look. All I'm gonna say about that is may, I, you, maybe the son had a respiratory problem, and he lived with his mom, so his mom called. If that was not the case, it is a little embarrassing for a 39-year-old man to have his mom call the doctor's office for him. Why? Because, like, by the time he hit the age of 39... It's to be expected that you'd, you'd handle your own business. Of course, this is assuming that, you know, he's able to. I know there could be some stuff going on. I'm, this is not even my story. It's a second-hand story. You guys, are, you're inserting a lot of, a lot of projections into this. I would rather assume that I'm just better than him. And as a result, we can all laugh guilt-free. That's true. Probably the most likely situation is that he was like, I'm fine. And the mom was like, you're not fine. You're not, you know what? I'm calling the clinic. And the mom, don't call the clinic. I'm fine. That's probably the most likely outcome. Yo, my radio's bumping, dude. What is this cursed song? <laughs> You're choking. I'm not choking. Caleb! To friends! In a, in a tradition of sorts! Just toss that right on the floor. Alright, let's, let's make some apple furniture. Very meat and potato spice rack. Did you see the tweet today? It, it, it's a good-natured tweet. But the guy was, like, listing things you can do during quarantine and reviewing them. And one that he said was alphabetizing your spice rack. Uh, and his spice rack had five spices in it. It was, like, allspice, salt, pepper, cumin, and cinnamon. And everyone was like, what the fuck? You're cooking with five spices? That's not enough, dude. That's not enough. I mean, it's enough to make a couple of things. Don't get me wrong, but... Alright. Juicy Apple TV. Get that sorted out here. And then... The apple chair requires four wood. Salt, pepper, and nutmeg is all you need. Ah! Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go get some wood. 
I can't put turnips in storage. Look, I, I'll allow um, a lack of garlic, because you can just have, like, you know, you could have fresh garlic or you could have pre-minced garlic in your fridge. Why do you care about the turnips so much? The turn that's 50,000 bells worth of turnips. That's basically my bank account. Sell them? You amateurs. You can't sell turnips on Sundays. And if you try to time travel, they go bad. Any more questions? What's your favorite Talking Heads song? That's a tough one, you know? Because the Talking Heads, they span a variety of user experiences. Um, you know, from one-off, highly catchy songs to concept albums with polyrhythmic beats I would if we're going best single song I'm kind of a naive melody open parentheses this must this must be the place kind of guy once in a lifetime also extremely good um, th those those are definitely the two up at the top for sure I mean, Born Under Punches, Cross-Eyed and Painless, also amazing songs. But, I don't know, This Must Be The Place is like... That's up there, dude. Burning Down The House? I don't dislike Burning Down The House, but it's like... Consider it an above average talking head song. Psycho Killer's fine. I got nothing against Psycho Killer. You know what, brother? We can go up there with a ladder now, too. I have been working out at home, but I'm not gonna lie to you. It has essentially been just an awful lot of, uh, Curling and shoulder pressing. The occasional bent over row. But a lot of curling and a lot of shoulder pressing. I made an apple chair. Look, I'm not trying to flex on the squat stuff, but like... Like I said last week, I squat like... At least two plates, usually more. These dumbbells that go up to 52 and a half pounds are not gonna do the job. I'm getting more of a workout just, just sitting, to be honest. Don't think about it too hard. Okay, keep crafting. Stone stool? Done. Keep crafting. Stone table. That's a stone stool, don't be a fool. Stone table. Craftable. Pot and clothesline, and this guy's house is complete. Hot. Yo, I think we might have him. Let's do it. I made a pot. Come on, come on, come on. Let's... Ah, we need seven more tree branches. Okay, we can do that.
I bet we haven't shaken the trees over here. I can tell because there's branches on the ground. How do you like your trees? Shaken or stirred? Dude, that's how you know James Bond is a boomer. My man can't just order a martini. He's got to specifically tell you the way to mix it. It makes a difference. It does, you can't tell the fucking difference. I guarantee in several movies, he has been served a stirred martini. If you can tell the difference, you should not drink so much. How about that? Yo, dude, I forgot this is Pear Tree Island. In three days, we're getting infinite pears over here. Please? Please? I didn't know you could just keep shaking the same tree. I just read that in chat just now. Coral. I've already got- don't worry about the coral. I've already got- wait, does coral sell well? Does it sell well? If it sells well, I'm going. <laughs> Be honest, chat. Have you ever asked for a martini shaken but not stirred? I think that's one of those things that, like, if you accidentally let a 14-year-old kid into your bar, that's what they would order. I'll take one glass of vodka, please. Oh, we don't do that here. All right, a martini shaken but not stirred. I have indeed done the Gulliver quest. Oh, baby. Send it. Kate said you don't usually shake martinis. Ah, so James Bond is deliberately ordering it wrong. That's just because he's, he's such a man. I get it. Oh, look at this. Now it really is a bachelor pad. Like it's a full university dorm because it's just made up of cardboard boxes and then furniture my parents didn't want anymore. Hey, you want this 27 inch Sony Trinitron TV from 1998? That's deeper than it is wide? Not really. We've all got phones now. Alright, I'll sign you up for one of those, and how about the couch your great-grandma died on? Clothesline. Dude. I believe house one is now complete. It is. Let's go. I'm surprised. Dude, three hours is like the perfect amount of time to accomplish a day's tasks in Animal Crossing. Apple chair. A juicy apple TV and a pot. I turned in three items. Then, you just leave the other stuff outside, right? What? This is a Flintstones house. <laughs> 
What is this? Oh, you gotta click the box one more time to update it after that? Okay. In front of the plot or to either side? Oh, no, I think it's good. I think it's good. Check exterior? Yeah, but isn't check exterior just... Oh, you know what? You're probably right. Oh, all the interior and exterior items are ready to go. You're right. Is, is the build ready? Ah! I think it's just... It just goes? It just goes. Alright. Um... So we still need a classic pitcher and a water pump. Then you go see Tom Nook. Okay, okay. A classic pitcher and a water pump. No, 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 no. Yo, water pump sorted. Just need a classic pitcher, and Malf's house is good to go. Okay. <laughs> the other house, we need a wooden block toy. No, we don't. We need a wooden block stereo. There you go. Oh, but you need the toy to make the stereo. Four more coal is very resinous. We can get you when we use our ladder. I'm sure we'll find more rocks and we can make it come to pass. Literally everyone on Twitch is playing Animal Crossing. So I literally uh, thought of that before playing today, and I decided it was not going to keep me down. More softwood and a wooden block toy. This is ridiculous. I'm just having a good time playing it. So I think we're going to need some more softwood. So let's finally explore these, these trees up here. Just vibing. I did watch a little bit of Dan's Animal Crossing stream. Do we need a camera resync? Camera resync. On my end, I think it's pretty good. So I think this might be. There's two different kinds of desyncs. One is my end. One is Twitch. This one feels like uh, this is a Twitch desync, which means you should hit F5. Freaking wasps, dude! No, I don't run. I never freeze. These are hardwood trees? They don't they don't drop real wood? Well here's it. As soon as you get to a new area, step one. You pick all the weeds. All weeds must go. Well, a metal axe will, will chop up the tree, right? Oh, maybe it was just the weeds blocking it? Weeds do respawn, I think, but they respawn like... I mean... If you haven't been there for a while, there's going to be a ton. I think if you stay on top of it on a daily basis. It's not too bad. You need flowers for the wreath as well. 
What's the DIY recipe for the for the wreath? Yellow, white, and red. Yo, three of each color. Easy. Do we have inventory space though? Eh, we'll be fine. That is indeed an Apple TV. Your eyes do not deceive you. Does it have Netflix? Yo, you guys watch any of that Tiger King show on Netflix this week? No, no, no. Started it, that's where I'm at. I'm halfway through episode one. My inventory's full? Oh, pick it up, dude, pick it up! Pick it up! Oh, those are flowers, probably. What's the synopsis? Uh, an insane zookeeper who owns hundreds of African big cats like lions and tigers battles with a seemingly equally insane animal rights uh, advocate who also runs her own potentially for profit zoo and at some point uh, somebody gets hired to murder somebody else uh Somebody gets uh, sent a bunch of venomous snakes in the mail. Like, it's a... <laughs> it's a thrill ride. I can't believe Netflix keeps on covering these incredible stories. Like, when I, when I watched Wild Wild Country, I was like, Oh, shit, dude, that's crazy. Then I watched uh, Evil Genius, the one about where they strapped the bomb to that dude's neck and made him rob a bank. And I was like, how do they keep finding this shit? Apparently, there's just an endless supply of uh, American insane crimes that have happened over, like, the past, uh, you know, 30 years. <laughs> Evil Genius was boring? Eh. Wrong. Maybe you can do it, sir. There's an ornate mantis. <sighs> dun -ka dun 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 Dunka dunk 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 I caught an orchid mantis our friendship is blooming Now baby geniuses that's the good shit Baby genius yes 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 baby genius yes 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 I've seen the first baby geniuses I actually I have memories of the first baby geniuses as be actually, I, I know I've actually seen it twice. Once, um, my parents rented it from Blockbuster because I was like maybe 11 years old, and they're like, "Is he watching kid movies or like real people movies?" And uh, that was like one of the movies where I realized it's time for me to graduate to real people movies because. When I watched Baby Geniuses, I was like, this shit is beneath me. Um, and then, like a year later, I watched it on a bus trip for school. And I was like, holy shit, dude. Really? Baby? We're in sixth grade. We're watching Baby Geniuses on the bus? That's a legendary honker. All righty. I have never seen Baby Geniuses 2, though. I caught a black bass. You know, it. here's the thing. All fish are legendary in their own right. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting on the ore fish. It'll come, though. Just give me, like, 45 minutes to pluck all these weeds, and then we'll get back to regular gameplay. If 
flowers though. I know I need flowers, but first you gotta clean the weeds, dude. First you gotta clean the weeds so that it's nice out there. Just let me think about it. I don't I don't understand Malf. Malf, are you watching? I don't wanna go too hard on you. But when I asked to visit his island, he was like, okay, but I bet you're gonna come and pick my weeds. And I was like, isn't that like a nice thing for somebody to do for somebody else? And he was like, don't pick my weeds. I want to pick them. You're basically picking up free money and stealing from me. It's like, wow, this guy is very protective. Oh! He's right. Yo, they sell for like 10 bells. If I could outsource my... My weed picking... To somebody for like a thousand bells, I would absolutely do it. I still want the miles though. Let's go! <laughs> Imperial decorative shelves. We, let's pick all these weeds and then go back. <laughs> We're gonna have three stacks. You could make it into a hay bed and sell it for more. Look, if you play Animal Crossing like that, sincerely, more power to you. But I was thinking about that because I was on the Animal Crossing subreddit last night. And it was like, yo, if you pick the weeds and turn them into hay beds, you can sell them to Tom Nook for even more stonks. And I was like... Yo, that's amazing. And then I remembered that the, uh, you can sell a thousand weeds in literally like a second. Uh, and you can only craft one hay bed at a time. You can speed up the animation by mashing A. Yeah, but literally you've now reached the point where you're trading your labor for more or less nothing in this game. I think it's, it's more efficient for my mental health to just sell the weeds raw. And then if he wants to process them, he can process them. I've got bigger, like, mega projects. I'm building infrastructure right here. You think I want to waste my time hand-weaving beds? Absolutely not. Okay, step one. Oh, I forgot. You don't sell here. You don't sell here anymore. Ah, NL. Hello, hello. How goes it? Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm working hard. As you finish your part, I'll get started on home construction. I vow to get this done quickly and to get it done right. Why, if it all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcast. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I will post the info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. Anywho, keep up the good work. I hear balloon sounds. <laughs> funny I hear balloon sounds coming from your mom's bedroom every night <laughs> oh. balloon set like latex anyway um correct I named my character NL so that if I ever open up to the you find folks watching today, you'll know that I'm not a regular Ryan. You'll know that I am to be respected and, respected and admired. Greedy Weeder. Yo. A thousand nook miles? Okay. Pardon me. 
I'm not like other rhymes. I'm a cool rhyme. Precisely. What's the end game? We got a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. Um, right now, we are trying to build three houses so we can have more neighbors. Perhaps even make a Fire Emblem game about it. So we've already built one house. We need some clay to make another house. So we need to go on another expedition soon. And we need more wood as well. I will make a donation of an orchid mantis. Eek an orchid mantis. Blathers hates bugs. No thanks. You should talk to Blathers at night so you don't uh, disturb his sleep. You know what pisses me off, dude? I'm having such a good time with Animal Crossing. But the freaking store? Now that I've built the store, it only stays open till like 8 or 10 p.m. You can sell stuff after 10 p.m. But you leave it in a little drop box. And you get 80% instead of 100%. I just wish you could, like, when you started your island, I wish you could be like... What's your schedule like? And they would make the opening hours, like, more... Whoops. More reasonable. More flexible. Excuse me? Okay, you're... Sorry, you're not set. You still need the classic pitcher. Who am I dropping stuff off at? Wooden Town. House number two. Confirm. And then, you also get... Oh, you're right. Three needs the water pump. That's all I had for you? <laughs> okay, three needs the water pump. So you'll have all of your exterior stuff here. I did get pogged up on weeds, you're right. Hold on, how, what's my miles at right now? 3,800? I think we must go on another expedition to get some clay. Hopefully we can catch some tarantulas as well. Maybe get out of debt. Maybe frick around and upgrade our house a little bit. Did you see that Justin named his island drugs? I did see that. Um... Oh, baby. Uh, did you see that... Uh, dumb dog had his levels get deleted in Mario Maker like seven months ago because his name was offensive for having dumb dog as his username? I'm just saying... I feel like Justin's playing with fire. <laughs> Yo. Am I crazy? Where did my shelves go? Whoa, dude! That's sick. Let's put it on this one. All right, I mean, I didn't really want it like over the window, but you know what? We'll let that work for now. That's true, we can use designer mode. I didn't think about that. Absolutely right, we can use designer mode.
Hello, I would like to grab up, please. Ah! Yo, the plus. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I did see Dan get a turlet set. <laughs> if I could just get those freaking turnips off the ground, dude. Alright, I need to buy a Nook Miles ticket and get the heck out of there. Turlet? Turlet is how people from Michigan say toilet. As far as I know. It's Dan vernacular. Yeah, just have a glass of milk. Sit on the turlet. That's how Medea says <laughs> Hell to the year. I have, even despite having not seen a single Medea movie in my life, um, I have adopted one Medea ism, which is, uh, oh my lord. Just, just something about it just tickles me in the right way. <laughs> I would like to fly. I would like to use my Nook Miles ticket. So one thing that's come up, like the only negative I've heard people say about Animal Crossing is that there's so many menus for all this. Like you have to hit A 45 times to do anything. I'm so like, like it has control of my mind right now. The game has... I am its servant, and it is my master, so I'm even, like, defending it for that. Even though you have to press A 50 times just to fly somewhere, I'm like, yeah, but it's good, because the po point of the game is talking to these cute animals anyway, so, like, why would you want to talk to less cute animals? I'm a, I'm a willing vessel, exactly. Apples again, huh? Yo! A fossil. That's true. That's the other reason I haven't been going around to too many people's islands. Is because it hits them with a uh, cutscene every single time. I do need the flower, regardless. Any reason you don't use the tool wheel? Honestly, like as of right now, it's just habit. Just need to get in that the habit. Oh, you just can't dig there. Chad, I'm not here for beetles. I'm here for iron, okay? Beetles do not interest me. Oh, and use the shovel, use the shovel. Don't break. Don't break. Yeah, that's right. I'm here for clay. I'm here for clay. You're absolutely correct. I had to move. I got myself positioned all wrong. That's alright. We got heavy clay stonks. Pretty good clay regardless.
missed an iron over there too. Uh, Donka. He's like a piece of iron. You guys know that's uh, Rocky. You ever heard of Rocky? That's Rocky IV. I don't know why it's Arnold Schwarzenegger saying that when the line is actually spoken by Dolph Lundgren, but you know, just just something to think about. That's not what he said. He said he said it in Russian. I don't know, something like that. Something along those lines. Do you speak Russian? No, but they had subtitles because the movie was made for idiots. I mean, it's the fourth Rocky movie, to be quite frank. We're good. We're good. Yo, peak stonks. Iron, 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 iron. Iron. I know it wasn't all iron, but it was all ore. Okay, fill these holes. I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. Say, so you telling me? There were two rocks? Oh, there- Center Island! Okay. Well, I don't think we can be pushed back here to begin with. No, you can't do that. You can't do that one. Send it. Two. Three. Four. Five. More clay. Six. Seven. A golden nugget, dude! A golden nugget. My first ever gold piece. Apparently, later on, people are suggesting you can use golden nuggets for golden tools. That will be slightly more or hopefully markedly more, uh... Oh yeah, break the rock too. Um, that will be markedly more durable. So I will not be selling. We will be hodling gold because the Fed is gonna start printing cash pretty soon and the inflation will lead to it being a, a good opportunity. Money printer go brrrr. Very familiar with the meme. I'm something of a scientist myself. So you. We must have hit this. Did we really not hit this rock? Kate, are you gonna play Animal Crossing on your stream as well? Yeah. Well, what the heck are you doing doing your chores then? How what are you going to do in Animal Crossing if your if your chores are uh, all done? <laughs> Con content printer go brrr. That's me. Sundays are pretty productive, but that's me Monday to Thursday. Monday to th actually Monday to Friday. On Friday, I did Checkpoint League, recorded 11 videos, and had a half-hour phone call with my mom. Did I roll my R's? Content printer go. Brrr. No, that that was my lips. That was my lips. Oh baby. Looking at my lips, looking at your lips. For Clay! What is this madness, dude?
Yeah, that's the thing. Even 11 videos, that's only like three to two to three days worth of content. <laughs> so the backlogs are staying real tight lately because we got got a lot of projects on the go, but it, it has been very fun. Honker. He's done it. That's a big one. A black bass. Slap it a bass. Exactly. Oh. Oh, the one biter. I caught a pale chub. The name seems a bit judgy. I actually thought that was a bitterling. So that is that's new for us. That's a new fish. Yo, 20 fish species discovered. Angler savant NL. Why am I not using the tool wheel, dude? Ah yahoo! Island, an exotic honker coming up. Oh, please stop making fun of my man. He was bitten by a wasp on his eyeball and has replaced his left eye with a Ritz cracker in order to provide it some protection. We need Tom Nook to get some cheese whiz, and then we will have the medicine we need to cure ourselves. Trash. Send it back. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Oh, I'm out of here, dude. Use the tool wheel, dummy. Get me off of this shitty island, dude. You know what? You're absolutely right. I'm not ready. I need wood. I already have the medicine recipe. I just like, I don't want to be like too Nietzschean, but I'm like, what's the point of healing my eyeball when I'm just going to get stung again anyway? Oh, son of a bitch. Curse my comedic timing. <laughs> yeah, but like, I'm still good to go, right? Like, there was no consequence. The, the only consequence was like a loading screen. Big whoop. I actually also thought it would kick me off the island, to be fair. The pilot doesn't respect you. That's alright, I don't need him to respect me. I don't even pay his wages. I, all I do is give him a coupon and he lets me go wherever I want. Thought Tom Nook gobbled your points. Um, Tom Nook is actually like a legend. I'm glad that things are starting to, uh, people are starting to be way more positive about Tom Nook. 
He is a very good lender. An interest-free, pay-as-you-want loan. Plus, he pays his kids a stipend to buy garbage off of you. I think I think Tom Nook is a... I think he's a good dude. I'm pro Thomas Nook. Child labor, though. Oh, they're just helping out at the family business. It's not child labor if they're helping out with the family business. That's just that's just good old fashioned Americana. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> He took them out of school for it, though? There is no school, dude! You turn on the news recently? He's giving these kids life experience. He's a hero! How about I give you a one-room house for $100,000? If you could add it on to our existing one, I'll sign on the dotted line tomorrow. You just tell me where to go. Especially zero interest, pay what you want. Not to mention, all right, I'll tell you what. I'll take that, that $100,000 for a one room deal, but you have to buy every single clump of shit I bring to you for 10 bucks minimum. You will be, you'll rue the day. You'll be singing Tom Nook's praises when I show up with a hundred garbage bags full of leaves. And I'm like, hey, I'm here to pay for my house. Honestly, I don't know how Tom Nook stays in business. I don't know I don't know where the bells come from. <laughs> He's cooking meth in the back. He's just going brr. I did comment on the two people who bought the entire meat section of that Vancouver grocery store. It's a very complicated thing for me to... Because someone said, you know, they should die. And I'm like... Oh, I'm definitely not going to go that far. But I think maybe this is one time where I'm like, your heart's in the right place. <laughs> I mean, you did kind of, whether intentionally or otherwise, try to screw over, like, potentially dozens of people. You don't sell things here anymore. Hold on, hold on. I got new things here. Did you hear that they're getting death threats and their moving business is getting bombarded with negative reviews? Dude, so I'm not gonna... End, I mean, obviously, the death threat stuff is crazy. Um, but, like, I almost left a negative review. This was last Friday. I almost left a negative review for a moving company that I have never worked with. Because um, I was waiting in my building for the elevator... And there were two dudes that were from a moving company. They were wearing, like, proprietary shirts from the moving company. And one of them, dead ass, just sneezed, like, openly into our lobby. And I was like, dude, I mean, it was a week ago. Things were still real serious. You, you should know at that point. Even if it's not a symptom, you know, people are on edge. And you, there's sneeze etiquette, you know? A mega sero torso. So I did, I thought about leaving them a negative review, but I didn't. Because I was like, ah, you know. 
I'll wait and see if I die first. But if I die, they're getting a one star. Well, maybe a two star. I'm in Richmond and people are getting intense. I I hear you. People are they're on edge for sure. You can take my pale chub from my cold dead hands. I'm a bit busy. I'm out in Poco and it's like nothing's ever changed. That's cause you guys out there, you got your freaking real Canadian superstores and your Walmarts. Over here in Vancouver, we got an IGA that's the size of a postage stamp and they say, oh, you gotta be two meters from any other person when you're inside of the store. It's not mathematically possible. As soon as you've walked into the store, you violated the state of emergency a hundred times. How's your cat situation going? Uh, honestly, it's totally fine. We got, uh, we got a new litter box. Two new litter boxes, really. When Tomo had, uh, his gastrointestinal woes. And now they both use the most recent litter box that we got. Which is like... You know, do we really have to get new ones if you're both just going to use the new one? Now we've got two cats and we have three litter boxes. But I guess apparently like 2N plus 1 is what you're supposed to have for cats. For... Six years, they were totally fine with one, and then like an emergency one. Sorry, one N plus one. <laughs> My mistake. N plus one. Um, and then had a couple of accidents, and now three is the is what we need here. I want to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, send it. Turnips, turnips don't sell yet today. I gotta wait till tomorrow. Hoddle. We're hodling. Okay. Okay. Now. We got a few things to make here. Let me restock on the wood. I'm telling you, before the end of this stream, we will have built these houses. Softwood. Hardwood. Wood. And clay. And clay. Thank you. We actually might need more clay. I might need to make one more excursion. It took me two days to figure out you could run in this game. For real, Kate just told me yesterday that you could run. I did not know there was a run. I assumed this was a run, because you're Naruto running. Why are you storing wasps' nests? Uh, so I can make anti-wasp medicine, obviously. The bee vaccine. Okay. Midsummer has been made. Hold on, do we have iron in our inventory? We do. Dude, if, if Twitch ever, and it'll probably never happen. If Twitch ever gets the rights to do those Amazon Prime watch parties in Canada, let's all watch Midsummer together. It'll be a lot of fun. Be a good community experience. I, I predict there will be two heavily used emotes. One is Monka S and one is What Face. There will be a lot, a lot of Monka S 
A lot of what face? Okay, I need wooden block table and birdhouse. I took a date to see Midsummer. It was a mistake. That's actually how I felt when I took Kate to see Midsummer. Because shit gets like insane in that movie. And I was like, oh my god, she's never going to let me pick a movie again. And then after we left the theater, I was like, how'd you like it? And she was like, I thought it was amazing. I was like, we got it, ladies and gentlemen, we got to keep her. I love Hereditary, but I, I do think I like, uh, I like Midsummer a little bit more. But I, I see them as like... May I? I see them as like the Blue Album and Pinkerton. Like they're both good. Hereditary probably has a better chance to be a guaranteed classics. A guaranteed classic status. Midsummer is like the slightly less appreciated one. But the people who love it, love the Christ out of it. Okay, sorry. House 3. You need... Did I not make your damn picture yet? Oh my god! House 2 is done, right? No, 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 this is the one we just made. Okay. We need table and wreath. And we need birdhouse. You know what? I'm going to put you on the side here. Yeah, really, like, I should have watched The Lighthouse yesterday. Instead, I watched a bunch of movies that were not really very good. Um, like, I, I caught... Because I just spent, like, almost all yesterday on the couch. Because, like, what else are you going to do, right? Um... I watched Fighting With My Family, and I was like, it's fine, like... It's the movie about Paige from the WWE. It does indeed have The Rock in it. It's, it's totally fine, is the way that I would describe that. Um, I watched Yesterday, and I thought Yesterday was not particularly good and also let down by one of the most annoying uh, lead female characters I've seen in a long time. He's done it. Um, I thought it, it was not horrendous, but it was like not very good. And I watched a little, like, again, while playing Animal Crossing, you know, I watched uh, Hobbs and Shaw. And I was like, this movie's actually probably the best of those three by far. If we're never going to get another crank, I thought Hobbs and Shaw was at least like a half decent in that vein. Finally, the classic picture. And then we watched Frozen 2. But to be honest, I was I was lost in the Animal Crossing sauce during Frozen 2. It seemed worse than Frozen, but uh, probably the best of those four movies. Five? I don't know. How many? <laughs> How many movies did I name there? Okay, classic picture incoming. What else do you need? Oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good, dude. Okay. 
He's stoked. All of the prep work is done. I didn't know if we would get there, but it has happened. I will welcome new people here next time. Yo, sold, baby! Who's moving in? Can't you check? Oh, you gotta walk up to the sign, maybe. Bob! Who the heck is Bob? Bob is the Bobcat? Oh, baby! <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. He's cool. Let's go. Hold on, I gotta talk to Sir Thomas Nook. Things are good. I have finished the plots. That means the rest is up to me. I'll get started on home construction. I vow to get this done quickly and get it done right. Well, if all goes well, we could have someone in a new home as soon as tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know. I'm a doctor too, dude. Ah, let me give you a token of my appreciation as promised. Fencing. You could surround your home to create a, ro a yard or surround some flowers to make a garden. Yo! Fifty pieces of wooden fencing? I can only go 12 by 12? Hey, as a reward for building three houses... <laughs> you can... You can build a fence as well if you're interested. 50 black slick backed hair wigs. Okay, well obviously I'm gonna make a freaking fence here, dude. Duh. I hate to do it, like I just hate where this rock is. I, this rock's gotta go. I hate to eat one because it's valuable, but it's got to be done. And let's dig up this flower. Perhaps we can replant that. This one was never in the right spot to begin with. No. Why would you not just eat an apple? Dude, I'm, I'm going to tell you straight up. I am, uh, I am rich in apples and coconuts. I, I know that the store values them differently. I don't value them too differently. Yo, what the heck is that? Use the freaking tool wheel, dummy. I caught a stink bug again. All right. Way to go, idiot. It sharded. All right, so we clean that out nicely. I just want a fence for my home. Is that so wrong? Does it automatically make a gate, or do you just leave space open? Just leave space open. Okay. What the heck, dude? What the heck is even that? No, no, don't build it, build it. No, not like that. Ah, oh, son. Of a... So it's based on the way you're facing. I understand. So we want to go like this. Yes, okay. Oh. 
Kate, did you build yourself a fence yet? WTF? No backyard? The whole thing is the backyard. Earth is, is our backyard. How much do you think this would go for in Vancouver? Um, to be honest with you, it really depends what body of water this is. If this is the Pacific Ocean, this is like at least a five million dollar house. If it's the Fraser River, you'd probably take it down just a little bit. Make a fence that splits the island in two. 4.9 milli. 4.9 million, million, million. Yo, free Nook Miles, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna dig up this tree. Actually, you know what? We could just turn it into a stump. Also, I can't get out, so we'll probably work on that. Let's just turn this into a stump so we have good beetle supply. In the future. There's a present to the right. Oh, thank you, chat. After playing this so much solo and playing it with chat, I realize how much stuff I must have missed out on. When I was playing it by myself. He's done it. How much dopamine does this game inject into your... And flute into your cerebral cortex um, it's not that much dopamine it's like it's a different emotion I don't know it's just it's very relaxing honestly it's just so it's yeah it's serotonin it's it's like the feeling it's tryptophan you know when you finish eating Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving dinner and you're like a little sleepy that's what this game is Does Vancouver have public transit other than buses? Yeah, it's got um, it's got the SkyTrain, which is three lines kind of crisscrossing the city, and uh, also has a couple like a little ferry situation. You can take the C bus to North Vancouver. Yeah, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I think this fence kinda sucks. I'm also gonna get rid of the stump. <laughs> He's so strong. I mean, you know me. I don't have an eye for aesthetics. Think. Dig this up. Make it further behind your house. We could. But to be honest, I kind of... I don't mind limiting the size of the garden. I'd rather it looked a little neater. Like, do flowers grow spontaneously?
Like if, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I like watered all of these, they could spread. If you water them. They'll create new flowers on open dirt. That's fine by me. I don't want to limit the garden too much then. IMO, just leave it like this. Yeah, why not? I can get down with that. Rome wasn't built in a day. Uh, does your your house gets bigger too, right? But does it do like a Doctor Who where it just gets bigger on the inside? Or does it get bigger on the outside as well? It is a Doctor Who. Okay. More storage too. Actually extremely necessary, though I didn't think it would ever happen. We're going to have to sell off a bunch of garbage soon. I mean, that we can just sell, 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 baby, sell. That's necessary. We don't need that right now. That should be stored. You can't store wooden fencing? Oh, probably because I got it equipped right now. Sell the turnips? You can't sell the turnips on Sundays. The market is closed. You can only trade in futures on Sunday. At 5 a.m. Pacific time, the market opens for turnips. And it rolls over at like noon or something like that. Put them in storage. They don't go in storage. I've been told you cannot store turnips. I think they should make it so you can store them. But I guess they're trying to discourage... Profiteering. Which is a little weird. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, I got 500 turnips loose on the floor. That's why I'm not letting anybody come to my house. You're not allowed to come to my house right now. Because if you... Literally, I got like $10,000 just sitting on the floor. Um, okay, so where would I put a workbench? You know what? Yo, I can't wait to see Kate's Island today. If you thought I was far ahead, she is like... Without time traveling, I don't know if you could get that much further ahead than her. My island looks like a dumpster. <laughs> yeah, there was like a... I guess there was like a weird... Interval where you could have a tent and no house. So you don't have any storage. But you still have the museum incoming. So you store like... 5,000 fish fossils and stuff like that outside for blathers. I'm just thinking about where to put my, my DIY workbench. Honestly, I kind of like the idea of tossing it right at this tree. It's not taking up any space. Any useful space anyway. Aesthetics, baby. Pan flute. Requires bamboo. Not gonna get made this video. Do we have... What are, where are we at on miles? Could I do one more? I could do one more island before we leave here today. Do you want bamboo? I said video. <laughs> like a fool. Um... You know what, Kate? You wanna come to my island? You want to come to my island and bring me some bamboo? Make online session? Monka?
Okay, let me sell this stuff, and then I'll actually... I'll just... I'll open it up. I'll open it up here. I'm... Kate, I'm being so sincere right now. Do not take my turnips. Okay? I, there's 500 turnips on the ground. <laughs> She's got 700. She's got no reason to steal mine then. All right, I don't... Kate, I'm going to give you a dodo code. So people don't steal my, my turnips. One second. One second. One second. This freaking dodo. I hit one wrong button. It sets me back 25 minutes. I want visitors. Via online play. Roger. Can you buy turnips on Sunday? I just got the shop today. I'm sorry to be the one to inform you, but I believe the turnip lady only shows up in the morning. I believe in the afternoon. Oh, I've sent you an invite here, Kate. I didn't know you could do that. So you should be able to come in now. She leaves at noon. Rat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I woke up at like nine. First thing I did was turn on that switch. Look for Daisy May. And I bad manners, Nintendo. She's got the little moisture coming out of her nose. Not now. Not now, Nintendo. Yeah, at least give her a mask or something. Dude, I'm, I'm realizing 3, 3.5 hours is like... The perfect amount... Are you doing so here? The perfect amount to complete one large day's tasks. You said that an hour ago? And I just completed the the task. I just completed the the three tasks. So it ended up it ended up bearing out. Hello. I would like uh, to sell. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Why not? Six seventy-five. What a ripoff, dude! Let me in. I want the mug. Seems like you're interested in a mug. Let's see. That's four hundred and sixty bells. What do you think? I'll buy it. I definitely do not want the magician set, though. That seems like garbage. Um, I forgot I wanted to sell coconuts. Some coconuts. Sure, how about if I offer 750 bells? Seems a little low. Seems a little on the low side. I think you mean the illusionist set. Dude, we did we did good work today. It's a nice looking place here. Look at that. Trivia Savant is pretty good. 
Maybe we can get a new title going while we wait for Kate here. Okay, we can get Pocket Egg. <laughs> pocket Grandpa. Nook Inks Egg. Yo, it's gotta be Pocket Egg, dude. I screwed it up, I gotta go look for it again. Pocket. Yo, excuse me though. Pocket muscle. Pocket egg is perfect. Unhindered muscle. She's on her way. Get that eye looked at. This is how I live my life, you know? I just... I constantly got an eye a little bit messed up. Do we have... We do have a honeycomb. Or, sorry, a wasp's nest. It would be cool if you could make... Yo, Kate said, I'm online. It would be cool if you could make... Roads and paths. I believe you can I believe that comes a little bit later, right? You can you can buy tiles and stuff Got him got him got him Yo looks like someone's on their way here Why is the museum so close to your house? Honestly, I really like the way that this is set up. And I'm surprised how many people are... They feel claustrophobic. Just because the things they want to visit every single day are in close and convenient proximity. <laughs> Arriving from Tomo. <laughs> yeah, we named our islands after our, after our cats. You got a problem? <laughs> I know we got a big island. I, I like population density. It's not really a good time for it right now. But I, I like having all the people and the stuff in, in clumped neighborhoods. Yo, Kate's got an Anyang t-shirt. Did you see it? Anyang. Yeah, see? You know what's up. All right, Kate, I'm on my way. You want to meet at the house? Can't miss it. Oh, I hear steppers. Hello. She's she's doing emotions. She got the ability to react. I haven't learned it yet. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Look at that. We got the one and the two shirt. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you. She's really going to drop them one by one, huh? Oh, no, that's... Wh where are you going? What's you... What's you plan there? You know what would be really funny, Chet? Hit her with one of those. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's so sick. Thank you, Kate. I got a nice little bamboo forest going on here. So how do you how do you harvest bamboo without ruining it? You just use the axe. Oh, she's she's going to demonstrate. 
Oh. Stone Axe. Yo. Okay, Stone Axe harvest without ruining it. She's she's so good. Thank you. Okay, do you want some like you want some furniture? Still five turnips on the ground. All right, Kate. So anything you can see except like the bed. If you want it, you just you just let me know. And the the cat tower is precious. On top of this, I also have outdoor bench, outdoor table, camping cot, a second tatami, a sink, a tire toy, and a scarecrow. Yo, she wants the spice rack. All right, all right. You can hear. I'll, hey, let me. I'll give you the spice rack, okay? It's rude to redecorate when you have company, though. You gotta, you gotta go. You gotta walk outside. That's acceptable. We, dude, this is a good deal. We just traded a spice rack for a bamboo forest. You, you sure you don't want the cone? There you go. <laughs> there you go. You're free. Oh, she's got the doll shirt. Dodo Airlines. She's gonna water my flowers. All right, I'm wearing my own hat. <laughs> What's she doing? Does that mean she's in menu? Yo! I can't make the I can make the flute. Yo, you're absolutely right. Kate, okay, wait a second. I got I got some incredible stuff for you. Hey! Oh my god! Okay. Let's see if this works. Pretty good, huh? I'm waiting for it to end on a good note. Anyway, you want a pan flute? Here you go. There's more where that came from, sweetheart. K8 slider. Oh, I don't even have a stone axe right now. That's okay. That's all right. All right, Kate. I'm gonna. She's good. <laughs> All right, get out of get out of my island. Once you are gone, I will take a snooze and uh, I'll pass them over to you. Chat, we all know I got the Forest Whitaker eyeball right now. Okay, just give me one freaking second. I'm crafting some Tamiflu. There we go. Please end the conversation. You hear that, chat? I made some medicine.
take medicine. And then <laughs> take the check the turnips. Check the turnips. Make sure we're we're set on that. Oh, I knew it. I knew she wouldn't take any. That's too much. Looks like someone's leaving. Trust earned. <laughs> yeah, they're, that's right. They're all stacks of like five now. She took 95 turnips off the top of each one. <laughs> Got him. All right, we should take a photo to commemorate this stream. I think fence. You know what? Let's let's get our outdoor stuff to sit on, so it makes for a good photo. Move that outdoor bench to our pockets. I will probably move the bamboo to be behind the house. We'll see. Oh, baby. Yo, you can't plant turnips, can you? I thought they exist exclusively for fiscal reasons. Can you not rotate the camera? Or do you have to get closer maybe first? You can't. Look at this. An absolutely beautiful postcard. I don't know, I kinda, I kinda like it zoomed in, honestly. I kinda like it like this, this album cover right here. That's a good one. Alright, I'm gonna send you over to, uh, Kate. Kate's gonna be playing some Animal Crossing herself. First, though... You gotta, you gotta get yourself to sleep. On the tatami. Nice comfy stream today. I'll be back tomorrow for the NLSS, of course. Twitch.tv slash Northern Lion for now. Um, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Big day on YouTube today and tomorrow. Today, channel update came out. Talk about the End of Stone Shard. Uh, announced a couple of subscriber milestones, etc., etc. Exit the Gungeon starts tomorrow. Already recorded a couple of episodes. Smash Bros. tier list. I know I said it would come out tomorrow. It might come out Tuesday because I forgot that I've got a lot of videos coming out Monday, Wednesday, Friday because GeoGuessr is on top of all the usual stuff. So maybe Tuesday on that.